My name is Benjamin Derby, and I'm a director's postdoctoral fellow here at the Center for Integrated Nanotechnologies at Los Alamos National Laboratory. What I'm studying is really materials in extreme environments, whether that's corrosion and irradiation or mechanical deformation and irradiation, really understanding the intersection of those extreme environments. I'm Bethany Rutherford. I'm a student at Purdue University. I'm currently working on my PhD in material science and engineering. There is no better place to build a scientific career than a national user facility. It's a really exciting environment to do research. SYNT stands for the Center for Integrated Nanotechnology. And we have two facilities, one in Albuquerque, New Mexico, at Sandia National Laboratories, and our gateway facility up at Los Alamos uh, National Laboratory. This is a really exciting time for nanomaterials research, and that's because there's a demand for new materials at the national level. Many of our most important technologies, particularly for clean energy, really depend on advances in nanoscience. And so, uh, you know, we get to work on these problems of national interest and importance. What I really enjoy about being in the SINT environment is having experts in anything you can think of in the cutting edge of material science right around the corner from your office. I'm the thrust leader for the Nanophotonics and Optical Nanomaterials Thrust, or NPON. I'm a theoretical chemist and a biophysicist. I support users working with quantum material synthesis, quantum sensing, and other qubit measurements. We've seen so many great science projects here at SYNT. For example, we've got a project which is focused on the development of new nanotechnology structured photovoltaic materials called perovskites where by controlling atomic structure of a film, we're able to control how light is absorbed and how positive and negative charges are separated in order to create electricity that's useful. We're also using artificial intelligence and machine learning in order to help us understand traditional materials. For example, we can use artificial intelligence to guide the computation of the atomic structure of a metal in this sense, the AI can look at our computations, figure out what's missing, and fill in the blanks very, very quickly. Another project that we have is based on quantum computing, and we're studying how to build quantum computers. To do this, we have to make what's called a qubit. And in order to make a qubit, we have to place a single atomic defect exactly where we want it in a microelectronic device. SYNT is developing the capability to do this for any user who wants to come here and do this kind of research. I get exposed to all sorts of different research. And so I think that's gonna benefit me greatly in you know any career that I choose. It's really exciting to see the students come here and to be able to experience a collaborative research environment and be able to use some of the state-of-the-art tools that we have here. Some of the equipment that SYNT has that my university doesn't is the electrical characterization methods. Here I've learned how to do IV and PE measurements, for example, and really focus on RT. In addition to graduate researchers and especially postdoctoral researchers, there are actually opportunities for even younger scientists. We have a long history of hosting high school and undergraduate interns. To get access to SYNT, um, all you need to do is write a two or three page innovative science proposal or nanoscience proposal uh, that it's reviewed externally. And then once that proposal is accepted, then you're able to access all the capabilities at SYNT for free. So that's one of our big selling points. Uh, as long as you'd like to publish in the open literature and do research, um, access to the facility is free. I've had the great benefit of being exposed to different proposal processes, and oftentimes it's these lengthy documents with many, many citations. But really at SINT, what you're proposing is this, what are, you, what are you interested in? What are the scientific questions that you want to answer, and how are you going to get it done? So as we try to meet the challenges that are facing our nation and the world, um, I'm really excited and, and looking forward to many of the proposals that hopefully we'll receive and, and the real power of what we offer at SYNT and the other nanoscale science research centers is the ability to form highly effective collaborative teams 
of different disciplinaries to help tackle these very challenging problems.